watch you guys in this video we're going to be having a look at how to remove a rootkit with Norton's bootable recovery tool now you can get it from this website here now this is just one way of removing a rootkit but we're going to be using this tool in this case now you can download what version you want here I've gone for this version here okay and once you've downloaded that you'll need to either burn that to a disk or whatever you want to do to create uh, your media to use okay either USB or something like that a CD or an ISO or whatever it is you're going to do now you may not be able to get onto your computer so you may need another computer to actually use this method okay now there's other methods and you can check out some of my other videos on how to do that so I'll be making more videos on how to get around these problems so let's get started with this one anyway so we're going to reboot the system into Norton's uh, bootable recovery tool so let's get started so I'm going to restart Now I'm going to push the enter key. Now I've already created my uh, Norton bootable recovery tool. Now we need to put our pin in. Click on I agree. Okay, so this is the options we've got now. Now I'm going to go for the Norton Advanced Recovery Scan. This is the version I'm going to go for. And this is if you are so infected the computer won't boot or anything like that. So this is the version we're going for. I'm going to click on this. You can also do this from Command Prompt also. Okay, so now we've got this... Uh, here what we want to do is we want to go for the scan version up the top here and click on start scan now you can change the location to where you want to save it to but I'm just going to leave mine as is right there and then click start and as you can see it's found a high risk um, infection on the system which has changed the master boot record so we'll just let that uh, finish its scan and then we'll fix this now it's very important that you make sure that you've got the latest uh, virus definitions okay as you can see here of 26th of August 2013 and you can do that by downloading the latest version and creating it and it will update all this automatically okay because uh, once this is done you can't update whilst in this program so you need to make sure that you've got the latest version from their website and it's updated okay so that scan is now finished and it has found three high risk files as you can see here Actal rootkit also trojan zbot and we've got our boot file that's uh, changed the master boot record here okay these are really nasty and uh, what we're going to do here is let this fix this and uh, so we're going to click on continue and then once that's done, I'm going to click done and then exit out of this and remove the CD or USB flash drive or whatever it is that you've used and then reboot the PC. Okay, so we'll let uh, Windows start up now. and there we are back at the desktop now that is the actual rootkit removed from the system but you still want to do some other scans okay just in case you've got other infections on the system and you will want to run uh, tools like Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, TDSS Killer and also other tools um, like ESET Online Scanner and stuff like that just to make sure the system is fully clean and everything is done now you also want to empty your restore points and uh, make a new restore point once you've finished and said the actual computer is now clean okay and that'll be it i think you'll be up and running so i think that's going to be about it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos hit that subscribe button guys and that will keep you up to date when i upload new videos and also hit that like button it really does help me out and gets me some visibility and i'll see you again in the next video so thanks again bye for now